Hi guys and welcome to episode 7 of Too Fat Too Fit. Too Fat Too Hi guys and welcome to episode 7 of Too Fat Too Fit. Now we've got to address the elephant in the room. What the hell has happened? Firstly, I'll take offence to being called an elephant. But I know you would, all, I know you would. But second of all, yeah, the uh, the injury. Uh, yeah, not, not good. Not no. Good at all. So, basically what's happened is I was going swimming and I thought, why not, you know? It, it's, it's healthy, it's a really, really good exercise. I went in the sea where I live and Unfortunately, I slipped on a boulder underneath the water. The water's not as crystal clear as the Jamaican seas. It is unfortunately murky. Didn't see a jagged rock underneath and sliced my tendon about an inch and a half into my foot. Uh, really, really painful. It's not worth it for a giggle, guys. I promise you that it is not worth it. The pain is unbearable. And the amount of blood is nasty as well. Yeah. Uh, I was with my family out swimming, just like I said, and literally had to drive uh, 25 30 minutes to a hospital because they uh, wouldn't see me at my local hospital, so it was really, really? yeah, really bad. Uh, they were closed, great. So, as it is, it's just what it was, but it was a lot of pain and it's now hindered me for the next few weeks, uh, exercise wise, definitely. Yeah, uh, diet wise, I'm gonna give it a crack, but it's it's been tough this week, really, really has. Yeah, yeah, should we yeah. jump into the vlog and we can see what I've been yeah, doing? Yeah, you know, let's take a look at Al's vlog yeah. and um. See what the hell's going on. Let's have a look. Yeah. Hello guys. I haven't vlogged in a while. I've um I've given myself an injury. Not on purpose. I was actually exercising, I went swimming, went swimming in RC. And uh, to cut a long story short, I slipped on a boulder and then landed with my right foot on a jagged rock under the water. The water's quite murky, unfortunately. It's, it's all the sand particles and everything. But uh, I didn't see it, didn't see the rock. And uh, I sliced my foot uh, severe enough to hit a tendon and get a load of stuff off the beach, like stones and sand and stuff inside it, which uh, hurts. It really hurts. The problem is, is that I am now uh, housebound pretty much most of the time. Uh, set, I have to sit on my bum all the time. I can't put any pressure on my heel because if I do, I could reopen the wound and that slows the healing. Um, I had a load of stuff done with it. I had to have a tetanus and all sorts of different things really. But I'm really low. I'm really, really angry. Um, really angry. Because I had such a flow going. I was doing so well for myself with it. My, my exercise was increasing. I was really enjoying walking. I loved going out for long walks. I had some big plans. Uh, things that I can't now do. And I'm angry. I'm, I'm, I'm upset. Because I... I'm tired of trying to trying to do the right thing and having things fail all the time. So I've had a bad couple of days again with my foot, been eating rubbish. Kind of feel like I've gone the other way from where I was before. I've really, really tried to in here to change it up a bit and move forward but I've really struggled I've really really struggled it's so bloody hard trying to not eat crappy foods like crisps and sweets but the problem I've had is is, is nothing but the same I've had before you know I try and do something and I just can't push past the demons of the past it really is tough trying to lose weight. And I get angry and a bit jealous because I see so many other people that can lose weight like that. You know, I see so many people that can 
They can just be thin. You know the guys that can eat what they like and stay thin? They joke about it. And I know I hear stories that later on in life, metabolism, it's not doing good for me inside and all that stuff, but it's hard to be healthy and be happy at the same time. I've got to get out of this funk in my head, but it's just so hard to break it, you know. But another bad day. I can't get out of this stupid funk. This low feeling. I've been in the bed for a big, big part of it. And just feeling low. I can't eat right, I can't move much, I'm starting to really, really hate myself, really starting to hate myself, I'm wondering if there's any point bothering with this, this journey. Do you know... I've got to get out of this stupid feeling. I'm so tired of eating crisps and chocolate and fizzy drink. And it's all because of my foot. It just goes to show how easy it is to fall back down when you're doing so well. And you have to tell your friends... That you're doing great. Yeah, everything's fine. And you lie. You lie because you don't want to tell them the truth. I just want to eat crap and eat bad food and make bad choices. And I reckon my mental state of it is... It was easy to slip back into. The old habits, they die hard. They really do. Hate it. Hate myself. Right, so guys, what do you make of that? I mean, I don't know what to say, mate. I just, I feel like I want to hug you after that. I just, it's the problem is, is that it's the brutal truth is I'm struggling and I'm really struggling with it. I'm not sure how far I'm going to be able to take this. I'm, I'm just really low and really, really finding it difficult to try and. Yeah. get through the week because every day I'm just sitting there feeling sorry for myself but I'm also really angry because I feel like I've, I've, ru I've sabotaged my, my own chances yeah but it wasn't you was it I mean, like, like I was saying before it's not, it's not just a physical pain it's, it's a mental pain now and it's, and it's blocking you doing well, what we set out to do I mean all these people watching now you can all see this is not us mucking about this is absolutely real life it's, it's brutal because this is what's stopping me and to hit a tendon is so sore, it's, you, you, I can't even put my foot down flat, because if I do, I will literally open up the wound, and that's I, why I couldn't even weigh in this week, yeah, yeah. because I physically can't get my whole body on a scale, because the fact is my foot would just cause me more problems, and I need to try and heal, awful. heal my foot as quick as possible to get back to doing what I want to do. Okay, so I suppose the question that everyone's gonna ask now is, what's gonna happen with you going forward? I've got to try and at least have a, a, a better diet, keep sticking to the diet. But this week has been so tough and I felt so sorry for myself. <laughs> I felt like a loser. And um, oh, mate. I really have, I feel, and I, you know, I, I feel like a loser because the fact is I can't do what I was doing. I'm yeah. struggling. And this was, goes back to other episodes that we've had. Get yourself a buddy. I know that if I was in Al's position, I could not do this alone. Absolutely couldn't do it alone. Get yourself someone to do this with. I'm really struggling. I mean it, mate. I really am. And I don't know how well I'm going to do over these next few weeks. I feel hurt and I feel bruised. Like, literally, inside, I just feel so... So hurt. Hang on, let's just turn this off. Turn this off. Right, so after a bit of a good cry, I'm feeling a bit better. 
didn't think you wanted to see me like doing that but um yes uh, i'm gonna try and keep to the, the diet side of things the better food the better choices and um, i'm gonna have to try and perceive that even if i can't do the exercise yeah i'm gonna try and do my diet well ironically this is gonna be like a mountain climb now because we've said it on the channel before it's 75 percent food 25 percent exercise so you can still do 75 percent of the journey yeah but it's gonna be so hard it's, it's I, not I about the it. food it's about the mentality you don't want to be on a diet when you're feeling like this you just want to you know relax and eat what you want i think this has been the struggle this week because i've literally had to sit down lay down i can't put any pressure on my foot it's you know at the angle i can't if i lay it flat it's going to cause me more problems even being out and about to do this is a is a risk yeah, yeah. and i i really wanted to dedicate my time to making you guys see how bad this can be and how real life injuries can cause such a problem for you yeah yeah so this week is going to be i think my biggest challenge from even the start yeah because i feel like i've had so much and i've lost it all but that's what i feel I like i think that this is bad for our don't get me wrong this is a bad thing but this is so relatable because everyone out there that does a journey like this they get a bit of an injury and they give up and they stop so I think you working is going to work through this is going to be for everyone watching yeah to show people that there is a way a lot of people give up after an injury but there's a way after that injury and I was going to show us the way being dragged by me yeah I think I'd rather be dragged than thrown onto the side that's why I said have a buddy it's a great tip when you're feeling low you need someone to help pick you up so right. let's keep doing this let's keep doing this journey together yeah okay yeah so we've done my depressing vlog and the chat regarding it let's see if we can have something a bit more upbeat when we look at yours let's have a look at mine then right hi everyone just trying to give you a bit of an update here uh yeah going good this week we're doing a bit of exercise uh food's going okay uh it's a normal week really i'm trying to cut the calories out I'm trying to be good as i can but I'm just, i don't know how i'm gonna do really to be honest um but yeah walking's good diet's good seems to be good Hi everyone, how are we doing? Um, it's getting later in the day now, it's about, start, about five o'clock-ish, and it's starting to cool down a little bit, but it's really been hot today, really, really hot day. So, um, like I said earlier, just uh, stay hydrated. Uh, lots of water this week, so I think I might have a little bit of a loss on me. It feels good. I feel I feel be a lot better this week, so uh, we'll have to wait and see. Um, yeah, enjoy the good weather, guys. See you later, bye. So as you guys may remember, um, I had a bit of a fizzy drink addiction. So uh, what I've done is I've changed to diet drinks. So this one here is Diet Lemonade from Lidl's 17 pence a bottle. Two litre bottle for 17p. Now that is a bargain. And you know what? It is really, really helping me. Hi everyone, how are we doing? So this is the end of week vlog. And as you can see, what the fairgrounds in town. And we were walking around here quite a lot last night, so it was pretty good. So end of week vlog, I lost two pounds this week. Um, it was really good actually, because uh, we had a family barbecue, and I ate a lot, and I was drinking a lot. So uh, yeah, two pounds a good loss, and we'll see how we go. But watch out for next week's vlog, because I will be wearing the exact same outfit. 
It's actually the day after. The last day was yesterday. Mate, skipping rope. That's actually really good. You know what? We was walking around a, a car boot sale yeah. and it was there for 50p. So I thought, you know what? I've not ever skipped really in my life. But apparently it's a really good cardio exercise. So I thought I'll give it a go. Yeah, it took some getting used to again. Okay. I've got to be honest. I was there for a good, I'd say, a good two hours just trying to get it right to get the rhythm and all that sort of stuff. But after I did that, I was tracking my calories mm. and I lost like 250 calories just good. like in a bit of skipping. That's really good. So I'm going to carry on with that. That was really great. And um, yeah, diet, diet, fizzy drinks. Because obviously I'm trying to stick to water. But I can't always do that with the sweet tooth and, and the sugar addiction, so... It's hard, it's best to wean yeah, anyway. It is, yeah, so best to wean. Diet Lemonade from Lidl's, 17p a bottle. Bargain. Yeah. There you go. Buy two. I bought six. There you go. He's thinking ahead. Right, so, um, yeah, it was, it was a really good week for me. I was really happy with it. Two pound loss. That's which really I'm good. really happy with. That's a target. Yeah, it is. I mean, I was I was aiming for, for two two pound a week, so yeah. I've hit target this week. Um, yeah, I think I could do more still. I mean, you've probably learnt by now, I'm a lazy guy. If there's a chance of sitting on the sofa watching TV, I'm going to try and take it. And I've got to force myself out of that. So, Aren't yeah. we all? Aren't yeah. we all like that? That's what we start off like. We've, yeah. we've got to this point because we've become lazy. Exactly. We've and watched that, telly. I mean, crisps. everyone can relate to this. So. Everything. I'm going to try and do a bit more exercise, I think. I've got to. But quitting smoking is coming up. Mate, it's, it's my first year. It's, it's, a, it's a big milestone, so that's not going to be too far away. Next week or so? Uh, I think it's like next week or the week after, yeah. Mate, see? That's so nearly a year. that's what I'm really looking forward to now. So we'll have to see. I should be able to make it. I think I will. Good stuff. Right then, guys, so let's go straight to the weight loss chart. Let's have a look. So if you have a look at the chart on the screen, you're going to see our, our weight chart. And uh, I couldn't weigh myself this week, so we've, we've stuck it as the same as the week yeah, before. Yeah, we agreed to stay the same, because if you can't weigh, it's obviously the one before. Yeah, so we'll stick with that for now. So I'm still currently 17.8, um, and uh, we'll see if that goes up or down in the next couple of weeks when I can weigh myself in again. Yeah, and uh, I was pretty happy this week, lost two pounds. So I'm Excellent. down to 15.10. That's amazing. And you do, you can see it. You can see that you're losing the weight. Yeah, someone else said that to me, but I, I can't see it at the moment. It's because we're looking at you from the angles that you can't see, and that's why we see what we've seen, which is good. Oh, there's some dodgy angles. <laughs> don't, don't. Don't want to see me bend over. Right, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to dive straight into a new section now, and um, we're going to take a look at what it takes to have a really good, healthy breakfast and the things we should avoid. That sounds like a good idea. Let's jump into that. Have a look. Right, guys, so hi, everyone. This is a new section, and we are going to talk this week about breakfast. Breakfast, the most important meal of the day because it kickstarts your metabolism. Yeah, so when you look at a breakfast, most people go for the usual suspects, uh, cereal, toast, things like that. You've got to understand that there are good breakfasts and bad breakfasts. So we're going to run through a little list of those and reasons why. Yes, right, so best breakfasts for you are eggs, Greek yogurt, coffee, oatmeal, chai seeds, berries, nuts and green teas. So. That's some lovely ones actually on there when you said about those, like the eggs and, and the green yogurt. That's, you know, obviously not together, but they are lovely. Um, but the bad breakfast that you should try and avoid is you know, normal store-bought breakfast cereals, pancakes, waffles, toast with butter. That's one of the worst. Um, you've got then uh, muffins, fruit juice, pastries, scones, and believe it or not, non-fat yogurt. This is because most people want to sweeten it with something like sugar and that will make it worse for you. So yes, it can be good, but it's also bad if you don't use it right. And did you guys know that breakfast actually means break fast because it's the first meal of the day? And the first ever breakfast cereal was in 1863 and needed soaking overnight just to make it chewable. One of those uh, biscuits they used to take on the ships, they were so hard they could break teeth all in those years yeah. when they were sailing around. So same sort of thing, probably you'd have to soak it in beer or whatever they did, so just to make sure that it was okay. So yep, be a breakfast, that's me. <laughs> but who it doesn't work for is the British Heart Foundation who have said that skipping breakfast is bad for your heart because it can increase your heart disease risk and give you higher blood pressure. So there's food for thought. 
So just a little highlight for some of those um, bad breakfasts. I mean, everything in moderation has always been been applied for most things, but it's you've got to understand the quantities. There are a lot of the uh, companies that make these foods now will put what they call the traffic light system on the front of the boxes. So, for example, when you next look at, say, a cereal box, have a look and see what it is for the portion control of how much you'd have per portion. So most of them come with a standard milk of 150 mils and you need to add that as the factor of your cereal. So if you have, say, a chocolate cereal, it's going to increase. You'll see it's either red, amber or green. you are always got to aim for green as best as possible because that's the one that has the least amount of sugars, salts and fat content in the actual amount of cereal you're going to be eating for the amount of portion size. When it's red or amber, it's very high, which usually means high in sugar or high in fat or even salt. And these are the hidden problems that can cause having a bad breakfast. They won't actually fill you up for longer. They will actually make you more hungry because sugars burn off quicker and it means you want to still eat. So they're very quick on giving you some energy, but they go very quickly in giving you good quality of length of going out food. So there you go, guys. Top tip from Too Fat, Too Fit. Don't skip breakfast. Just use a skipping rope. Hey, I like my skipping rope. Okay, guys, so we're coming into the end of this week's episode. It's been quite an up and down, well, mainly down emotional week for me, but it's been a very good week for you. Yeah, you know what? I'll take this week and I'll run with it. Yeah. And hopefully I, I can continue it next week as well. Just keep dragging me behind with you. I think that's I'm what not I need, leaving you me? behind. Good man. That's what I need. And then hopefully, as I say, next week we're going to see if the injury's got any better and uh, hopefully I might be able to weigh myself and hopefully. We'll still be on the rise. Okay, great. So uh, we'll see you all later, guys. Take it easy. See you later, bye. And don't forget, guys, you must hit the like button. Really? Yeah, really. Okay. And you must subscribe to the channel. Really? Yeah, really. Okay. And you must also press the little bell thingy that gets you notifications when you get all the current video thingies sort of thingies. Press the bell. Okay, I think they've got it now. Too fat. Too fit. You actually did that stand on one leg. Yeah, I'm like a flamingo. All pretty in pink.